What is up, ladies and gents? It is your underdog source for Black Ops 2 information across the nations, primarily European. JK. It's Mr. Firebad. Farted. <laughs> Great way to start commentary. And, uh, I'm bringing you guys some Black Ops gameplay. Some Black Ops 1, whatever you want to call it. Since there's a number 2, I guess you have to call this one number 1. But then, again, I don't call Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 1. I call it Call of Duty 4. I call it COD 4. They're probably going to call just call this Black Ops. And one Black Ops 2 or Blops 2. Whatever you want to call it. I don't give a shit. Let's just get the gameplay out of the way so I can get to the meat of this. I haven't played Black Ops seriously in multiplayer uh... and when i say seriously i mean like it's the primary call of duty i play uh... because even whenever this was the primary call of duty i played i did not play it seriously i played it seriously for like the first two three months then after that i was like <laughs> uh... i'd say let's see it is may right now I didn't look at the date in which this was recorded in theater mode. So, I'd say this gameplay is a good seven, eight months old, maybe. But it is good gameplay, uh, regardless. Uh, just to get this out of the way, because, you know, we don't want to talk about it during. So, this was a 62 and 12 game. So, there you go. And this guy's dumb. But let's talk about what I wanted to talk about, and that was, and is, the Black Ops 2 reveal trailer and other information that I have picked up by watching videos and scouring the interwebs for hours upon end. Hours and hours, because the AP classes in which I take in my current schedule of classes does not fill me completely up with all my time, and I have no homework, so I have plenty of time to daddle off. <sighs> anyway. Thoughts on the whole uh the whole trailer. Um immediately after I watched it, the first thing I thought was Halo negative seventeen. Because how the interface looks, how everything looks, it's it's sort of an alternate hyper futuristic timeline. And if you compare it to that of Tom Clancy's Future Soldier, the color scheme in the two are similar. The whole light blue aspect of it, that is something that is used in Tom Clancy's Future Soldier. I don't know if they took uh, inspiration from that, because uh, with the way that the game looks and the way the interface looks, it has, well, the interface looks nothing like uh, Future Soldier, but the whole color scheme of the game is similar to that of Future Soldier, so I, I'm not sure about that. And if you looked on a frame on the trailer, you could see that you had uh, squad commands, which is something found in uh, Tom Clancy games. So I'm not sure if uh, Activision Treyarch went uh, totally completely legit on that. Oh, and if, yeah, that was a pretty face. I don't know if they're turning that series, took uh, bits and pieces of that series to make it more Call of Duty feeling. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what they're going for with that. But, what I found was, is I'm not sure what to think about it thus far. Because, with how it looks, uh, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'll be able to consider it a, a Call of Duty, you know, because every single time I play it, it, I don't know, it's just the blue. I know that's really weird and how I'm flipping out over the blue, but seriously, that's, that's a, it's a sticky, it's a subject for me. Certain colors, uh, I don't like to see in my games because I don't feel that they complement it, but with that whole uh, parallel timeline futuristic black operations sort of thing I suppose that the blue would work but I'm just gonna stop talking about the color blue because 
you're probably getting sick of me complaining about Roy G. Biv all up on this rainbow. But what I found is, uh, this has been covered before, but there was a leaked picture of the, uh, of a multiplayer screenshot, and then there was the actual trailer, and as you can see, uh, the text between the two was very similar. So, if that is the interface, if that's just the alpha build of it, as I'm sure it is, alpha or beta, everything looked a little more rigid than it should be, and if that is the final product, then I am not pleased, because Black Ops looks better than that. And Black Ops, to me, looks really cartoony. I don't know. It, it's... It just looks cartoony to me. Like, all the colors are... Real. Eh. So, hopefully... Treyarch knows how to use things besides green and brown. Next game. And you're like, oh no, there's white and red and you get orange sometimes. Shut up. I don't, I, I realize that, but primarily. And that was a complaint a lot of people have with Black Ops, so hopefully Treyarch knows how to use their color palette properly. Alliteration. And... I, I, once again, I'm just not sure what to think about it. I mean, it's something that could very well be really, really good. Because they have, in the trailer, it showed something similar to the uh, Reaper drone that was introduced in Modern Warfare 3. I absolutely love the Reaper. I'm glad to be seeing that back. But... Get shaded on, buddy. Uh, I'm just not sure. They haven't released a whole lot of information about the guns, and from what you can tell in the trailer, there wasn't a whole lot of guns, and it was just a whole lot of mechs emphasizing the whole futuristic aspect of it, and yes, I, I get it, it's in the future. You explained that to me with the very first scene with the jet that wasn't flying via turbines, it was flying via helicopter rotor-like things. I got that. As soon as I watched that, I'm... I'm like, alright, this is, that that's a pelican, this is Halo, what am I watching? I, I just, I just don't know. So, I, they, in the trailer they were putting the emphasis on the whole futuristic aspect of it, and they could have done that very, very quickly in it, and which they did, and from that point on, they could have easily gone into more depth about... Uh, the guns and a little bit of the story. I mean, I realize it's a world reveal trailer and you can't squeeze a lot into two minutes, but I mean, you can give me a little more. You're giving, you're not giving the public, you're not giving me or anyone else a whole lot to uh, nibble on, a whole lot to taste. We can't dif discern anything from that besides there will be guns in the game, there will be mechs in the game. There will be walking tanks in the game. I mean, that was the thing that like freaked me out. Like, how is that more suited for combat and better than a just a tank that has the treads on it? Is it just aesthetically pleasing? Did you think, oh, well, you know, that'll be pretty cool. So let's put that in there. I mean, I don't, I don't get. It. And moreover, how is it going to continue the Black Ops storyline? Because if it's taking place 50 years, 40 years after Black Ops 2, or Black Ops, I mean, yeah, you still have Woods and the uh, son of uh, what's-his-face is the main character. I can't remember his last name at the time, but... I'm sure you probably know who I'm talking about, and if you don't, then watch another video about this topic, and I'm pretty sure you can find out. Uh, I'm... I just don't get it. I mean, Black Ops 1 was pretty well situated in the past, and I can understand most of the things that were going on, because they were pretty factual, and then you move into this alternate split-off timeline in the future, and it's just completely different. Like, it's it's hardly realistic anymore. So, I mean, some of the guns are there, yeah, but I don't know. I ran out of time. I'm sorry, guys. As you can see, 62 and 12. Great. 